Progress check. Progress update. It is a beautiful early spring day here in North Idaho and we're getting back to work on the addition build. Last week we managed to get a whole bunch of mud and tape put up so things were looking great in there. This week we are continuing on with that. The guys from Rogers Drywall are back to add just one additional layer of mud over that tape and then we're going to start texturing walls which we are very excited about. Yeah I think they're going to be completely wrapped up probably in the next two to three days which is perfect timing because it's going to be almost 70 degrees here. We've got some outdoor projects that we really want to get done and then in two days all of our ceiling material is going to be in. So Jeremy and I are going to get back to work in the addition. Jeremy just got done dragging the pasture and it looks beautiful. I love when he does this. He does it about four or five times a year, but once the grass starts growing, he can't drag it because it will tear the grass up. So we have about an hour before the guys start putting the actual texture on the walls. And so I'm gonna go play with the horses for a little bit and then we're gonna head on into the addition. All right, so we had a really nice ride on Blue. He's so calm, but he's definitely very stiff. He has very, very stiff front knees. And so I do try to make him kind of work through the stiffness. We do a lot of walking and then we try to up it a little bit, but today he was definitely feeling stiff. So we kept it short. I'm moving on to Lexan. Lexan is my wild child. He is a dream 90% of the time and then 10% of the time he's a little unpredictable. He's definitely more go than woe. He really, really likes to go. So in the spring, this spring, we are working a lot on groundwork, desensitization training, and then just keeping a nice slow speed so that somebody besides myself can also ride Lexa. All right, that was a good ride. Every single ride is getting better and better, which is great. Really every spring he needs 30 days put on him. I mean 30 straight days. And so we're on we're on day four. So we have a ways to go, but we gotta call it a day. Get back to work. We're back here in the addition and the fellows are doing a great job. We are now to the point of texture up on the walls, which is awesome. They're doing a new world, old world, old world <laughs> texture. We were just talking about this. Old world texture, it's a little unconventional, a little different. It adds a lot of texture to the wall while also keeping it flat, which is what we like. And they're making quick work of things. Everything going great so far? Everything's going good. Love it. I'm hiding out in the bedroom. They already finished the bedroom, the closet, the pantry, and a lot of the living room. So this old world is actually the exact same texture that we used in the house. And we love it so much that we just decided to do it in here as well. So they kind of smear it on and then they go through with their big wide knife and then they knock it down. So they said that it is a cross between a imperfect smooth wall and a skip trowel. So it's kind of that happy medium and we just really like the rustic feel of it. So we showed you guys upstairs in the living space and how that's gonna have that old world texture, but down here in the garage, they've got everything mudded to completion. Basically, we are not using a texture down here for a variety of reasons. One, because it's a garage and a stairwell, so it's, we're really not all that concerned with it looking good. Number two is if I ever have to make any patches in here, it'll be much easier with a flat finish to just plug a uh, replacement chunk in there, get it smoothed off, call it good to go. And plus, if we're doing any work in here, I don't want dust and dirt and all that to collect on the walls, because again, this is a garage. Yeah, so they said they just have a little bit of touch-ups to do, a little bit of sanding to do, and then these walls are ready to paint. Buddy, what? you gonna see what I got you in town? What? All right, man, the horse field is all clean. You said you wanted to earn some money by keeping it clean. So I got you this, okay? I'll show you how this needs to happen. We'll go walk out there, scoop everything up, dump it in here. Sound good? Yep. You're doing a great job. This is gonna keep you busy all summer. Yeah. You excited about this? Uh, kinda. <laughs> What's exciting about it? I don't know. I was it's something that keep me busy all summer. And you're turning dookies into dollars, man. Yeah. Dookies into dollars. Sleep lay a house stone, but never lost. You got that? 
This will be lighter over time. Sound you let me know when you're good. Your morning song. Many rushing waters come. Breaking like the morning sun. My heart is yours. Every The drywall guys were not here for very long, maybe two hours getting the rest of the texture up. So this has to completely dry overnight. They're coming back tomorrow for a few hours just to do the final sanding and the drywall is 100% Done. We're so excited. So we also just got a call that our ceiling ship lab is in. So we're gonna go pick that up tomorrow and we can get started on the ceiling. But for today, the weather is nice and we have some work to do. Taking advantage of this beautiful day that we're having here in early spring, we got some garden cleanup done last week, but we're gonna continue on with that and actually prepare our raised beds for planting since that's upcoming. We went to our local hardware store and picked up this massive pallet of our raised bed garden soil that we need to get pulled out of here. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work yet. I think I'm gonna hook up a chain to the pallet, to the tractor, try to get it pulled out and then hopefully moved over. We will prep our beds for spring planting. Worked out. Let's see if the track can pick this up and get it moved over though. So this year we went ahead and bought this new tiller attachment and so far it's working great. I just pulled this thing out of the box, literally. And this is saving us from having to do what we've done in the past, which is just double dig and handle everything with shovels and wore ourselves out. I mean, this is still a lot of work, but a thousand times better than doing it by hand. So what Jeremy is doing is fluffing up all of that hard compacted winter soil and that way we are ready to plant. It also grinds up all of the roots, which feeds the soil, adds nutrients, but doesn't allow those roots to regrow and then we are going to top dress it with the new compost. Now the reason that we are not using our rabbit, sheep, chicken, and horse compost is because this year all of that is going in the orchard. Last year we put it in the garden beds. So we did buy for the garden beds this season and then next year we'll probably use our own compost. I don't know how to do it. You could work at the circus. Again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go make dinner. All right, mom, I'll be working. It's dinner time and I am making some Texas pulled pork sandwiches for the family. This pork has been slow cooking for 10 to 12 hours, but I wasn't the one who did it because I would probably never do that because we were too busy. But luckily about a month ago, we were asked to try Just Meats, which is pre-seasoned, pre-cooked, restaurant quality meat that ships right here to our door and is ready to eat in just about two minutes. In our home, we love cooking convenient meals, but they also have to taste great. So we agreed to try Just Meats because Just Meats uses no artificial colors or flavors and they use only grass-fed and grass-finished beef ethically sourced from local ranchers right here in the Rocky Mountain region. Just Meats has been so simple and actually really affordable, way more affordable than takeout or restaurant food or even raw meat from the grocery store. But the best part is it's incredible, like really, really incredible. Our kids love it. They have it clean their plates, bowls, pans, anything with just meats in it. Last night I actually made regular chicken from the grocery store and they were all bummed out. So tonight we are back to just meats. 
There are great subscription options available to help you spice up your life, save you money, save you time, and totally impress your family by creating some amazing dinners with their new flavor options and large rotating menu. To try Just Meats for yourself, just click the link below or go to justmeats.com slash discount slash good simple living and use our code good simple living to get 15% off any order. Plus you can stack that with any existing promotion like the 25% off new subscription plan so you can save a lot of money and enjoy. Slow the music down And hold on tight to me I've been choking on the wind Aching for summer's breeze We remind me Press your body on me And I'll give you all of mine We'll let nature do the talking Whisper wisdom's hell divine We move with me Final day of our ongoing drywall mudding, taping, and texturing project is happening here today. The fellows are currently upstairs getting everything sanded down. All that textured are knocking it down so that we have really nice flat surfaces to work with in our living space. Yes, and in just a few minutes, the cabinet guys are coming. They're going to measure for doors and trim and window wrap and the beam and everything. So that's very exciting. All of that stuff is supposed to be coming in in the next month to six weeks. So we still have a lot of work to do upstairs, but just having them come and do the final measurements is really pretty exciting. Fridge and then it just kind of goes from there. Yep. Yeah. So kitchen, the island will be here. Yeah. But it's bifold. Right? A bifold. Where it like, door. where it's like, so it's like four doors, mm -hmm. and then like this one opens that one. Okay, and so one is like a bifold door on the side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, no, if I'm done. Here's your dishes. <laughs> I'll have to get a level. Cabinet folks came and got everything measured. We are on track to get all of that done. We have turkeys crossing the road right now. We got North Idaho traffic jam. So <laughs> we, um, we got everything situated. They actually had some really fun ideas like a sliding barn door for the pantry door, stuff that we hadn't thought of. So we're really excited about that package. We are going to get all of the ceiling material now and then Jeremy and I are going to get to work on the ceiling and then we won't have any unfinished surfaces except for the floor. But it's gonna really, really start looking done. There we go, that is a lot of ship left. <laughs> it's crazy to think this is gonna be the entire ceiling in the addition though. It doesn't look like much all stacked up together. God bless the magic trailer. <laughs> Everything fits in there. She's been a good trailer. That was a little bit challenging to get loaded up because they had to get extensions and then push it in and- Worked out just fine. Worked out just fine. Now we have to haul, how many pieces did they say it was? I don't know, I don't wanna know. 200 or so pieces of 12 foot shiplap up into the apartment. We'll get it done, mama, we always do. Yes. When you were a kid, did you like inside chores or outside chores? Outside, man. I was always an outside kid. Different time, though. Yeah. I've never, I don't think I've ever had an inside chore. Yeah? Do you like the outside chores? Yeah. Yeah, it's way better, right? Yeah. Alright, 
staple guns loaded. Should load it off for you to do this. Yeah. Let's bang this out as quick as we can, huh? Let's do it. So now that we have all of our drywall taped, mudded, and textured, it is time to refocus and turn our attention to the ceiling here of the living space. You saw that we went to the hardware store and picked up all of that shiplap that's still sitting in the back of our trailer. We're going to get that loaded up through these windows here uh, later today. Before we get going on that ceiling project, we're cutting all of the 6 mil poly plastic that's going to serve as our vapor barrier because we went to purchase the insulation for the ceiling. Unfortunately, we didn't find any outlet space, so now we're having to rectify that issue by getting all of this stapled up. Red eye. I am red eye. Oh, okay, so we are about half done. We have to do the master bedroom and the other half of the living space. I'm not totally sure that we have enough plastic. -y. We, we have. Don't. We're gonna be a little short. Yeah, we have enough scraps that we could make it work, but we don't want to do too much overlapping because if you overlap the plastic at all, now you've got a double vapor barrier and moisture can get stuck in between there. I know. I said the word. I said moisture. Moisture. Go measure. Yeah. So we're making sure that we're not overlapping our, our vapor barriers by more than like an inch because also you don't want to leave gaps. So once we get that done, we will be officially ready to start putting up the boards. Your parents ever tell you when you were a kid not to put plastic bags over your head or just to be weary of it? No, my mom loves saran wrap. Huh? I feel like I'm breaking all the rules right now. Like I should be deathly afraid. All right, plastic is up here in the living space. Um, I want to say it made a huge difference, but it really didn't. It's just a necessary step in this process. Well, it means that we don't have a bunch of loose insulation falling on our heads. That's true. And that is a relief because my eyes can't take much more of the itchiness. No. So we need to get all of our pieces up. We got 12 foot pieces to avoid having a bunch of seams because it is going to be all one color. So we don't want different length sections. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's not going to make that corner very easily, especially one by one. So we're going to take the screens off the front windows and then we're going to have a race and see who can get the most pieces up through the windows. Is this what we're doing? I don't no, girls against boys. Sure, why not? Let's go get the kids. Okay, you pass them up. The van's gonna be at that window and I'm gonna be at this window. Day. Easy as pie. I told you that wasn't bad, right? It wasn't bad. Looks good. This is it. All we have to do is get it up. <laughs> <laughs> that little taste of spring this week was so refreshing and so exciting for all of us. This is always the best time of year when the birds start chirping again and the buds start to swell in preparation for an abundant season ahead. Spring is such a beautiful reminder to embrace those fleeting moments of warmth in our ordinary day, and to appreciate them for how truly incredible they are. Spring is God's way of showing us that renewal and light comes, no matter how cold or how dark the winter. And it was in spring that he demonstrated that he loved us even more than he loved himself. And because of that, we have hope not just for the coming season, but for eternity. <laughs>